Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to start a new little series on uh, TypeScript and React. So I took a little poll here um, asking what kind of extended series people would like to see and uh, React TypeScript was kind of the overwhelming favorite. So this is going to be the first video in that. So basically, we're just going to get set up, show you how you can take Create React app and just add TypeScript from scratch. And then we're also going to show you if you have an existing uh, React project, how you can just add TypeScript on top of that and get going that way. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm just over here in my terminal here and I'm going to create a new project and add TypeScript. So in order to do this, we're going to go like this and we're going to say MPX and we'll say create a React app like this. Uh, and then you're going to name the uh, app here. So we're going to say uh, React uh, TypeScript uh, tut like this. And then we're going to go dash dash and we're going to say uh, template like that. And we'll say TypeScript. And then we're going to run it. All right, so that'll take a minute to uh, run. But once it's done, let's CD into uh, that. And we're just going to open up in uh, VS Code. All right, so when we open this up, we'll uh, see a few things that are particular to TypeScript here. So we automatically, when we run um, with the Create React app, get this TS config. So if we come in and take a look at uh, everything we have right here, uh, you can see all these different values. So this is all customizable depending on uh, what you like. And we'll probably go through and change some stuff up as we're going through the course. But for the most part, you can stick to uh, the default values right here. Now, uh, some things to uh, point out right here is strict mode is probably going to want to have uh, that turned on. So you're going to want that to be true for the most part. Um, if you turn it to false, uh, you won't get many, many of the benefits that you would with uh, TypeScript. So basically, it won't be showing you all your errors. So that's going to be pretty important. Also, uh, this React, this JSX right here, uh, you're going to have to make sure this is uh, React JSX for, um, in order for TypeScript to work with React. Uh, and then it's going to include here, you can see this, anything in our uh, source file, our SRC file here. So if we come over here, anything inside of here will uh, be included and uh, TypeScript will uh, check for that. Other than that, everything else here um, is not overly important uh, right now. We might get in and change in a few things later on, but for now, I think that should be good. So when you come in uh, to here, you can see the extension name is now TSX. So if you had a re regular uh, React project, that would be JSX. So all these files, anything named TSX, will uh, TypeScript will take a look at that and make sure everything is good there. So that is basically all you need to do to get started if you're starting a project from scratch. So say this project was uh, a normal JavaScript project. So just React, no TypeScript involved. If you want to start adding TypeScript and get those benefits, uh, you can do that incrementally. So basically you can leave all your .jsx files the same and TypeScript won't interact with them and then kind of incrementally add TSX files as you go. But in order to add TypeScript to a, uh, a project that is uh, not currently TypeScript, we're gonna have to go uh, and you do something like this. So you'd say yarn add, and you'd say TypeScript, and then you'd have to add the different types. So you have to say types uh, slash node, types slash react, types slash uh, react dash DOM. And if you wanted it for testing, you'd say types uh, slash jest if you're using jest there. So running this would add TypeScript to your project um, and that should be all uh, good and set everything up. The one thing you may have to add is I'm not 100% sure if it would come with a TS config if we run these. So you may have to find yourself adding that manually, but that's super simple. So you're just gonna run uh, MPX and you would say TSC for TypeScript and dash dash in it like that and that will create your uh, TS config for you. And then you wanna make sure and just uh, come through to your TS config and make sure uh, this JSX is uh, React JSX like that. Other than that, everything should be good. All right, so that's basically how you're gonna get started with uh, TypeScript and React. Uh, there'll be many more videos to come in this series, so uh, stay tuned and I will see you in the next one.